have said she'd break me. I don't know what I'd do without you. Leonard was a great close friend, and he said to me one day, what's it like getting this you-know-who? How do you live with it? What's it really like? I said, it's like a mortgage, education fees for three children, a home for my uh, ex-wife, a home for my parents, and a home for myself. That's what it's actually like. <laughs> You, you, look, you look very bewitching tonight. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Rigsby. I said it might, if you're not very careful, it could happen to you one of these days. You're Cinzano Bianco, signora. I think the original idea was uh, was trying to do sort of uh, uh, humorous spoofs on what was the beautiful people type commercial which Martini was famous for. The original scripts were ludicrous. They had Sean Connery and uh, Woody Allen. None of those people ever would have ever done a commercial. So we got rid of those scripts when they were given to me. And uh, Leonard Rossiter uh, was involved. And uh, I remember going around to uh, his house and we kind of agreed that actually the script was absolute rubbish. Boring. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so Leonard uh, said, oh, what I'd like to do is the old musical joke. And we said, what's that? So he picked up his cup of tea that we were sitting there in his living room. And he looked at his watch and he turned the cup and he said, you know, that joke. So he said, oh, that's a very good joke, particularly if it happened to be Joan Collins that he was spilling it on. Can't you just smell those Italian wines? Suffused with herbs and spices, spices from four, four continents. Why, being boring. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Getting ahead now, sweetie. Sorry, good idea. Leonard Rossiter, from the theatre, difficult. He felt he was the, um, the main man. He was the, uh, the artist of the two. He would choreograph himself. I know the previous director had difficulty with him, and I spent some time to spend some time with him just to diffuse what I thought might be some awkward situations. And there was, I mean, in the, the, the uh, he said, I'm doing this movement and that movement, and I'll, it'd be nice for the camera to see this and see that. And I said, well, Leonard, I'm going to cut to your foot going in the tiger skin on the floor. And he said, oh, I don't want to but they won't see what I'm doing with the rest of me. I'm Melissa, uh, Mr. Yakitori and his aides. Yoko uh, uh, No, no, sweetie, Japanese. Joan was thoroughly professional, oh, and uh, she got the idea straight away. I mean, she was very intelligent um, and uh, absolutely unpretentious. Uh, they just ordered our traditional drink. There was great respect between them. They'd worked together wonderfully well, and this was a successful campaign. But he, he, he. He used to refer to her um, as the prop. <laughs> oh. 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 I think they like you, Marissa. It worked. Boy, did it work. Because, because it, uh, there was a period of time uh, when the commercials were by far and away the most interesting thing you could see that evening on television. They were infinitely more entertaining than the programs in those days. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Getting ahead now, sweetie. Sorry, good idea. Insano Bianco.